Happy holidays, everybody. Editing Linz here just before we get into this video. There is a giveaway announcement during this video. It kind of happens around the 10 ish or so minute mark. So if you are interested in winning yourself a free version of Sledders for Christmas, then please do watch all the way through to find out how to enter. Best of luck and enjoy the video. For all of you passionate gamers, you can now get 20% off all G Fuel products worldwide by using code LINS at checkout. And for any of you motorheads looking for some new drip or apparel, use code MXPR underscore LINS15, fxrracing.eu to get 15% off. All links and codes are in the description down below. Enjoy the video and drop a cheeky little like and subscribe. Yo, yeah, might, might check. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to another video. We are back on some sledders today. Can't lie been a bit of a hot minute since i played this game it really has been uh, basically since the last video that i made that must be kind of a weekish or so ago now i really really enjoy playing this game my issue is <laughs> at the moment that sledders isn't the main focus of on my channel usually a lot of it is motocross related gameplay so if you are here just from the sledders side of things thank you very very much and um, i've noticed all of my sledders videos for some reason keep doing really really well which makes me want to just play the game more and more. Uh, so today, what we're going to be doing is there's a certain, I guess you could call it line on Sledders, where if we go over to the Woodlands map, which is what I'm on right now, I've just joined a random online server, and if I load up the map here, you'll see over on kind of this side, see I've, I've marked out a bunch of waypoints that almost kind of follows a straight line here. What this is, is what is called the power line trail. So if I go and spawn over in this area, uh, feel free to you know pause the video and try and find it on this area of the map i mean you've got your your lines and your coordinates to go off of if i spawn over here you will see just in front of me slash slightly on the left over my head we've got some power lines that go past now don't get it twisted because if i spin around we can't actually start any further than this we are right up against the world border here so this is kind of our starting point and basically you follow these power lines and you eventually end up at like a you know, Overwatch Tower, you know, National Park kind of tower. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and follow it. We're going to try our very, very best not to crash. That's going to be the most important thing here and see how it goes. Now, today, I am riding the G5 Turbo. We are riding the one with, the, I think it's the 165. So we've got the longest uh, longest track on the back of this to make it nice and stable for us as well. Um, I've actually not got... Why have I not got my headphones on? I can't hear anything, and that's why. Yeah, usually when it comes to uh, wanting audio in your ears, actually having your headphones on is usually the best way to go. So that's what we're going to try and do today. Now, I uh, I think I've done this once before right, when the game kind of originally came out with this update and had this trail in it. And it's been a while. I generally can't remember how long it is. So if it's a very short one and it would make the video really short, we'll, we'll have a little mess around as well. We'll try and find some people, maybe do a little bit of hill climbing. Who knows? I could even try and practice my, uh, my snow cross skills. Now, I have seen... In, so in the Sledders Discord, there, there's two separate ones. There's a main Discord for the game, then there's a whole different one for like modding and you know skins and wraps, etc. Uh, which I, I'm not part of that one anymore. Uh, I hopped in to kind of get the something called Melon Loader, where you can adjust like your game files and change how fast the sled goes, how like long the track is, etc. Um, I have that, but one thing I've seen people doing is they've got an external plugin that basically tracks lap times for them on the snowcross track. And I really like the idea of that. So I might ask in the general Discord anyway to see if anyone has any idea. But if anyone in the comments knows what that's all about or can guide me in the right direction, please do. Because I would love to have a way of, I guess, gauging how fast I'm going around the Snowcross track. But me, me personally, I don't think it's fast at all. I'm, I'm not great at this game at all so far. I'm about seven and a half hours deep deep on it at this point i think steam says um so lots and lots of time to uh, to still go to practice and try and get better but it's just i, I like racing i love uh, the racing and competitive aspect of all games oh my god I, I guess we're not making it through without crashing um so whilst the whole free riding aspect of this game is really fun to me and just getting to hop on with a bunch of random players trying to find cool things to do I like also having like a set purpose sometimes when it comes to just setting laps, trying to get faster at the snow cross section. And I'm, I'm guessing that they're going to be adding some stuff in in the future. Uh, they did post a roadmap in Discord the other day, uh, just mentioning what they're looking to, towards. And uh, the snow cross was mentioned in there and having like free ridey areas and kind of just updating it a little bit further. And then they've got once all of their, I guess, desires have been met, once they've kind of got the game to a good place where it's meant to be by default then after that 
they're going to look into mod support and possibly having stuff on the workshop, which should hopefully make the whole process of downloading mods and running mods a whole lot easier. I imagine if people could make like their own racetracks, for example, that'd be really cool. I'm not sure if any of you can see right now. Do you see off in the distance just over the uh, just over the tree line? I'll try and point to it. It's like it's there kind of at the very, very tippy of the tree line, kind of middle right hand side of the screen. You can just see that watchtower peeking out over the top of everything. So that is where we are headed now. Is sometimes I get a little bit lost. I, I feel like, oh, so is this a tree? Is this a, a telephone pole? I'm not sure which one is, but we're going to be following it to the best of our ability all the way to the end. I love this G5, by the way. Like, such a capable machine. Like, really, really good. Really powerful. It destroys hills for the most part. I feel like the only time I really get stuck on hills is when my own skill issue comes into play. Uh, but people that are much better than I seem to have no issue whatsoever. Now, my whole goal is to just hopefully touch this... this uh, Oh, this Overwatch Tower here, because if my memory serves me right, actually very difficult to get fully close to it, unless I just send it. We could just try and send it all the way to the top instead of trying to have any finesse about it. So let me try that. I'm just going to yeet up as fast as I can, see if we can jump into it, hopefully decapitate ourselves. Yo, yeet up to the top. Go, go, go. And... Hey, up. It, well, we've made it. So there's no way to kind of get up in it at all. You kind of spawn on the inside of it here. There's nothing... That I thought I'd somehow glitched inside and there was like no way of getting out. I thought there was like barriers around it. As you can see, if I uh, spin the camera around here, it's quite a tall boy. It would be interesting to see if there was any way of modelling it so you could get up the stairs and get to the very, very top. Because I imagine that would be quite a interesting screenshot to take. But there is the quick little power line trail. It's it's fairly short. It's, it's straightforward. There's one or two little tricky bits here and there. But uh, it might be fun to hop on with your friends and follow that all the way around. Let me uh, just load up the map real quick and see what people are up to, see if I can join anyone for anything. There seems to be a hell of a lot of players down in this bottom right-hand corner of the map, and I have no markers set over there, so part of me feels like I haven't been there before. So I want to go and see what's up. Now, looking at the map, it doesn't look like there's any particularly like steep bit. It doesn't look like there's a hill climb involved there at all. Um, I'm wondering if the, the devs have added another little like jumpy bit, and I've had no idea about it. Oh my, we are getting some speed. There's no way I survive this. Oh my god, my guy's got legs and arms of steel. Okay, send it. Can we get a backflip going here? Yo, yeet. Pull, rotate. No. <clears throat> Wait. There. There's another set of power lines. Where? Oh, boys. I thought there was only one... Oh, actually, I found people. I thought there was only one set of power lines. What do you mean there's more than one? Oh, my God. Okay, we're just going to say hello, and then we'll maybe do power line number two. What's everyone doing here? Are they just trying to yeet up this hill? Um, Yeah, I guess I, I guess that's the, the plan. Interest, interesting spot. I don't think I've ever seen people trying to, trying to do this before. Um, Yeah, I feel like this is the natural way to go. We'll wheelie into it. And then hopefully do a little little left, little right, and up and over. That wasn't too bad. Very, very odd place for people to be gathered. There's not really not a whole lot here, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I want to try and see where this power line starts and ends. And we want to try and follow this one in its entirety as well, because that's actually quite interesting. This, this one could even be better than the first one. Right, it's just taken me a good two three minutes to try and get all the way to the very end of this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set a marker here for future reference and we are going to try and follow this one all the way so previously the other one that we've done it started here and it basically ended here so it wasn't it wasn't super long you know it wasn't like super short either but this one starts all the way down here and i know that it goes to at least here on the map and further so oh maybe it's I'm such an I'm such an idiot. I feel like it goes all the way along, goes off the map, and then turns and then comes back on because this is where kind of the map ends here. Although I swear this guy is outside of it, unless he's right on the limit there. It looks like he's trying to turn into the wall and keeps getting bounced back. Um, but this this one should be better. This one looks feels like it's a lot longer than the first. We got a nice little drop in here at the start as well. So let's just follow it. It's, it's very high speed. There's some quite high speed parts. So I'm hoping that I don't just suddenly fall off a cliff whilst going. Oh, like 60 miles an hour minor issues just pulling an ostrich just burying my head in the sand slash slash snow hit the yard ye ah oh, hello friend would you care to join me who's this tobin is he doing his own thing he's doing his own thing he's just having a good time we'll carry on 
we'll carry on about our merry way on our on our own on our solo journey. So it might be nice getting a bunch of people in and all which kind of following this trail together. Oh my god, the swaps I'm getting. Uh, so, if you've made it to this point in the video, I feel like I apologise for making you wait this long. I actually the topic completely went off the top of my head. But the whole point of me making this video as well is that the devs of the game have been very, very kind, and they have sent me, via Discord, two Steam keys for this game, so completely free, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway for you that are watching, so if you've made it to this part of the video, you now get to find out how to enter. There will be, died again, uh, there will be a Google form in the link of, well, in, there will be a link for it in the description of this video. I want two, well, three things from you. The first one you need to do is leave any sort of comment whatsoever on this video, which is the first part of entering to it. It can be anything ranging from how much you love uh, goth muscle mummies all the way to how much you enjoy penguins. Any, it can be very, very random, whatever you like, within reason, behave yourselves. Um, then the second part is once you've done that, load up that Google form and there will be two questions and two questions only. The first one will be your YouTube username please make sure you fill it in exactly as it comes so that I can then search to make sure you've left a comment after the fact. And then the other one will be, what is your Discord username? Uh, if you haven't got a Discord yet, then please do make one because I, that is how I will contact the winner as well. I will send the key to you via Discord. That seems like the best. It seems like the safest, easiest way. So please do that. And then that's all you have to do. Now, I'm not an idiot. I know people will try like botting and doing it on multiple accounts, blah, blah, blah. I will remove any duplicates if there's multiple names the same, etc. So I will just go through, remove any duplicates, and then it'll be a number number random generator. So say 200 people fill in the form. I will go on Google. I will type in, pick a number between 1 and 200. If it's number 83, then number 83 will be the winner. I'll check that that person has left a comment. I will then message that person on Discord and send them their key. And I plan on doing this on probably Christmas Eve. So... I'll, I'll do it all on the 24th, so you'll get your key just to enjoy over the Christmas period. Um, I'll, the winners, I will just announce their ads in my personal Discord as well. So if you are leaving your Discord name, then by all means, feel free to join my Discord server, which is linked in the uh, in the description down below also. And good luck to all of you. Thank you very, very much to the devs for doing this. It's very, very kind, and it wasn't even recommended by me at first. One of them just reached out and was like, hey, do you want to do a giveaway on the game by any chance? I was like, you know what? Absolutely, sure. So there's two keys up for grabs. Again, I wish you all of the very best of luck in winning, hopefully. And yeah, if you have any questions or anything on how to enter, there shouldn't be any. Just have a little rewind, go back and uh, see what you can do. Have I, have I glitched outside the map here? What's going on? I have glitched outside the map. I've... Um, I thought they fixed this. There was a there was a little um, little update note the other day that they've fixed going outside or falling out. So what is? I'm gonna just be one second because this could make a very very good thumbnail. Okay, so something tells me that I'm really not not meant to be out here. But this is one of the fun things about <laughs> these newer games is you get to find all sorts of like weird bugs and glitches. I'll let the devs know about it. Uh, the, you can't really do much to be fair the, the the snow has like a weird sort of i don't know like depth to it like it doesn't really let you wheelie well at all although this is quite a quite a long track on this uh this ski anyway so uh, it is what it is but um i might might love and lead you there we've we followed our two trails we've we've done what we set out to do i mean it's more than i set out to do i thought there was only one but turns out there was two uh so yeah go to go to the map where i did at random points if you want to try and replicate what i've done today uh the ski that i'm on was the g5 turbo the 165 and then again feel free to go and enter that competition to win yourself a free version of sledders on steam so thank you very much again for the devs for being so supportive of uh, my channel and trying to get their game out there to multiple people as well and then thank you all very much all of you for watching i hope you have a lovely rest of the day whatever you're up to and are enjoying the christmas period also and i will catch you all in the next video peace